Have you ever had insects on your fruit trees or on your trees and shrubs and thought, what can I use to get rid of them? Well, I want to tell you the story of how this particular insect was the reason why I transformed the orchard and I now view this insect as my teacher. Stay tuned. Maybe you've seen The Octopus Teacher lately. Great movie. See it if you can. There's a reason why some animals, wildlife, even plants can teach you different aspects. This is what's left of what we originally bought as an orchard. And it was a monoculture 4,000 tree apple orchard, which we converted through a transition to organic. And we did that for a bunch of years. But if you see a monoculture orchard, you see all the same and in this case it was all apple trees and all these are even the same cultivar and there's rows and rows and that's a typical orchard well one thing about a typical orchard is it makes it very easy if there's caterpillars that have started in this tree there's nothing to prevent them from moving to the next tree and so on and so on and so on and that's what we had we used to be infested with tent caterpillars. They were my greatest nemesis. Yeah, I can remember seeing the trees in June looking like it was January. That means that year you won't get any fruit and the next year since you didn't have any reserves you also won't have any fruit. That wasn't a good recipe and so even though it was organic I didn't want to spray to get rid of the caterpillars but I came to the point where there was nothing I could do. I was trying, if I found them, I would just cut the piece of branch off and literally burn the nest. After a while, I realized one year we had so many. I mean, I, in a quick count, I counted a thousand nests. If there's a thousand nests with each between two and three hundred caterpillar, yeah, that's a lot of caterpillar. They were a tremendous problem and for years I didn't know what am I going to do about these finally I asked the caterpillar I said hey caterpillar what are you trying to teach me it took me a while I gotta say to get to the point where I was willing to listen to the caterpillar and it was like well you've created a buffet for me I was like what the caterpillar just told me that I'm creating a buffet for it. Every tree the same. All of them the caterpillar likes. What more does it want? It's a buffet! I learned about the idea of insects being our teacher from a book by Sir Albert Howard called The Soil and Health. Fantastic book. A classic for organic agriculture but for any growing. And in that book, he pointed out that insects, diseases, and weeds should not be regarded as pests or as problems, but rather as professors provided free by nature to show us what we need to do to get our house in order. It took me a while to digest that sentence. Actually, it took me five years and I battled the caterpillars and I was cutting out nests. I kind of didn't want to accept that these are trying to teach me. So even today, in this remnant of a monoculture, we're literally looking for a caterpillar nest and they're hard to find. Yes, it depends on the years, but there's always should be some. And I say should be. You should have some insects. Having some is normal. Having an infestation is not normal. But there is a lot. Actually, there are so few that we have to look around to find them. And that's because we have the permaculture orchard redesigned which is a refuge for all manner of predators and we've done a lot to attract the best predators of them which is birds in the spring and wasps in the summer. Yes, you want wasps and you want lots of wasps and you want lots of birds and they do a great job of controlling these caterpillars but the biggest thing and change to why there's no caterpillars has been that we replanted the orchard in a different pattern away from a monoculture. So fast forward, this is 
almost 15 years since we planted this area. It's no longer a monoculture. There's some plum trees and there's nitrogen fixing trees and pear trees and apple trees all mixed in, all diverse. And nature is like that. Nature doesn't want all the same thing in a vast area. It wants a mix of species. So what we've tried to do here is just copy what nature is telling us. The caterpillar was the start. The diversity and planting in what we call trios has been a great thing. And maybe you say, yeah, but it's not as simple. It is simple in that it works. Monoculture doesn't work unless you intervene a lot. So even if you just have a few trees in your backyard wanting to put the same thing, is not the best strategy. Try to diversify. Thanks to these caterpillars, we replanted. I'm so grateful. I love these caterpillars now. They were my worst pest, and now they're my best friend because when I see them, I'm reminded of, it's thanks to them that we redid the orchard. And it works so much better now that they're no longer a problem. I actually, I usually flag them because I know they're going to disappear soon. And the amount of damage I ever see on them is the most we've seen in 12 years has been one whole branch. That's nothing compared to many trees of damage. So they are not an issue. They're not a problem at all. And I'm glad that they're around. Do you look at an insect or a disease as the problem, as a pest, as something you want to eliminate? Well, if you do and you use some things to eliminate them, you're just pushing the problem, kicking the can down the road. You're just avoiding solving the problem at the root. Think about that next time you're ready to reach for something to eliminate them and say, why is that insect there? Why is that disease there? What is it trying to tell me? How is that insect or disease a teacher? Like this one was my teacher, which I'm so happy to have. Thanks for watching. Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the permaculture orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com. Subscribe, please. Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Bye. A caterpillar teacher, huh? They're fuzzy. They crawl. They jump around. No, they don't jump. Ah, interesting having a caterpillar teacher.